हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी विल डिस्कस हार्डनेस फटीक एंड क्री प्रॉपर्टीज अंडर द कंसेक्शन ऑफ मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज डिस्कशन दिस इज द पार्ट टू ऑफ वीडियो इन प्रीवियस पार्ट वन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द टेंसाइल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द मटीरियल्स सो लेट्स बिगेन विद द हार्डनेस फर्स्ट वी विल गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज इज नोन एज हार्डनेस 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 इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ अ मटीरियल इन विच द मटीरियल इन विच इट इज बेसिकली विच इज द रसिस्टेंस of a material to force penetration or bending bending so it means suppose this is your any material and we have applied any uh, force through this particular indenter suppose this is the indenter and when it uh, uh, when it uh, reaches up to where and it is keep moving and it, when it reach up to this particular metallic uh, surface so after this particular point it will started applying load on the material so a material is deformed uh, started deforming sometimes it is deformed little bit elastically and then also uh, uh, and plastically deform so it is either elastic plus plastic or permanent permanently plastic or elastic also so when material is started deforming so this material is trying to resist this deformation the deformation this is the quantitatively we can uh, we can measure by using the hardness or we can say hardness is the resistance of uh, permanent deformation in the form of penetration or bending this is also the ability of material to resist scratching abrasion cutting or penetration different kinds of uh, per plas permanent plastic deformation uh, when material is resisting it is also considered as hardness types of hardness so hardness is basically of uh, basically of four types first is rockwell second one is the brinell hardness third one is the wicker hardness and fourth one is the noob hardness rockwell hardness is something where this kind this specific type of notch is when uh, uh, when is uh, penetrating the material so this is generally measured by the uh, rockwell or this is known as the rockwell indenter and the uh, hardness with this particular kind of uh, uh, indenter is known as the uh, rockwell hardness in brinell hardness basically the indenter is a kind of a uh, kind of solid ball Uh, which is which is very solid compared to the material on which we are going to uh, deform so this kind so with this kind of uh, indenter when we are going to measure the hardness so this is known as the brinell hardness in wicker hardness in in wicker in, in uh, wicker hardness the indenter uh, cross section is something like this and uh, and uh, an angle of this particular thing is more than 136 degree centigrade uh, 1 136 degree so uh, this kind of uh, when uh, um, indenter is going to uh, deform the material so uh, this kind of impression is uh, we can uh, uh, appear on the surface of the uh, this particular material on which we are measuring the hardness so this is uh, we will measure the its uh, uh, its uh, width and its height in the form of d1 or d2 or h1 or h2 whatever uh, we can uh, use to uh, measure this particular kind of indenter so by measuring this particular point maybe this particular uh, parameters is known as wicker hardness fourth one is the noob hardness and noob hardness indenter is something like this and again uh, the material is going to deform again this in, in uh, this kind of indentation is known as the noob hardness going to understand several very important uh, time varying mechanical properties phenomena and one of that kind of property is known as the fatigue property fatigue the term itself uh, itself is, uh, uh, is 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 the de is showing the defini uh, means uh, showing its definition where material is going to slowly weaken under the repeated loading uh, under the repeated kind uh, repeated loading so here we can a very important thing is the weakening of material and under the repeated loading it means suppose we have any specimen and we apply any load repeated loading so material is slowly going to slowly going to weaken with how much number of repeated loading is applied this repeat number of repeated loading is uh, something count in terms of number of cycle of that particular loading so with that num how much number of cycle is performed to weaken this material is known as the fatigue fatigue means material is going to weaken and some other very important terms associated to the fatigue uh, and those terms are like cyclic loading which is applying uh, greater than the certain threshold value but much below the strength of the material so this strength of the material as we already explained in uh, tensile property 
दैट इज अल्टीमेट टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ लिमिट अल्टीमेट टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ और यील्ड स्ट्रेस सो द लिमिट ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ और यील्ड स्ट्रेस आवर अप्लाइड रिपीटेड लोडिंग द मैक्सिमम अप्लाइड द मैक्सिमम द मैक्सिमम लोड ऑफ मैक्सिमम लोड ऑफ दिस रिपीटेड लोडिंग शुड भी लेसर देन दिस दिस काइंड ऑफ लिमिट्स whether it is ultimate tensile strength or yield strength but it is certain above to the uh, threshold value or suppose the uh, yield strength of the material is like uh, 300 mega pascal so we have to apply the repeated loading which has two uh, two uh, load conditions one is maximum applied load or maximum stress and another is, another is the minimum stress so this maximum stress should not cross this uh, uh tensile strength of the material and the sigma minimum means uh, a minimum threshold value of uh, uh, between this uh, between these two minimum and maximum loading uh, we apply the load in uh, in cyclic uh, cyclic form so this is known as the cyclic loading so with this cyclic loading when we apply material is slowly started weakening and at particular point it going to be fracture so the fracture now now the third term is appear fracture so fracture is something which is uh, microscopic crack it, it's uh, this fracture is basically happens but before happening the fracture that those cracks suppose this is the material and when we apply the cyclic loading on this particular material so initially any micro crack appears on the uh, material surface or interior of the material mostly these cracks mic or microscopic cracks which is very initial stage of the uh, fracture is appears generally on this uh, surface of the Uh, this material surface means suppose this is the surface so from here this is the surface of front uh, from front of the uh, this particular specimen so this crack started appearing from the surface and up, uh, with with the number of loading it is started increasing starting increasing started increasing and increasing and increasing but when it reaches up to some critical point it will catastrophically failure uh, catastrophically failure the whole material so this catastrophic failure before that microscopic crack which is the initial stage of fracture It, it these are happening with the case of sac and under the cyclic loading so these all uh, associated phenomena is uh, uh, is the measure of fatigue so this kind of uh, property which uh, material is showing is known as the fatigue property of the material now another time varying mechanical property pheno phenomena is creep so this creep is the basically uh, when we apply any kind, uh, any load on any of the material but it uh, it is uh, this this load is basically applied for a very uh, prolonged period of time so uh, the load when applied to the pro prolonged period of time and material is started deforming slowly so this kind of properties is uh, measure uh, is known as the creep property of the material by definition when we uh, read it so it is no it is the property of a material which indicates the tendency of material to move slowly and deform permanently under the influence of external mechanical stress so the result of this kind of loading and deformation long time exposure to large external mechanical stress which permanently deform the material under the yielding in the limit of uh, yielding or you can say yield strength so uh, be below to this point when we apply the load for prolonged period of time permanent deformation happens so this uh, uh, overall uh, physical uh, physical representation of the material is known as the creep property thank you very much